Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I am Crash Rouser, and it's once again time to crash the scans with another Nexi Crate unboxing. And I can't show you the other side because my address is on it and I didn't take it off. Well, I'll cover that up there now. Anyways, if you guys don't know what the Nexi Crate is, well, you should go back and watch it on the channel. Just quickly. There we go. Address is down. You should go back and watch it on the channel. I'll actually put the link in the description for like the playlist. You can go back and watch it. But Mixcrate is this awesome, really cool subscription service where you can go online, you can sign up, and you can get Mexican candies. So it's all from Mexico, imported to, I think, America, and then like localized and then sent off. So it's authentic Mexican candies. It's really cool. The first one I got opened up was awesome. And before we get into this, I got two little informations to tell you. So the first one is I asked you guys if you could tell me what tamarind was. Well, my good friend Mallers, a.k.a. Mally, Cairo Mally, why are you green? You guys don't understand that reference because that was years ago. She told me what the tamarind is. It is a leguminous tree indigenous to tropic Africa. The tamarind tree produces pod-like fruit, which contains an edible pulp that is used in cuisines around the world. But the other cool thing is, Mally signed up for a Mexicrate because of my video! So Mexicrate, if you're watching, I've already got people signing up for it, so I mean, slide into my DMs again. They slid into my DMs to ask if how this Mexicrate was, and I'm like, I haven't received it yet. But anyways, we're going to be doing a, another unboxing here today. Midge is in the background. So she'll be talking stuff. She unfortunately can't participate in this one because um, she can't swallow things right now. But she's in the background watching. Hello. Hi. Okay. So I'm really excited for this one. I'm going to open it up now and let you guys see it first. But it's probably going to have that postcard and that sticker on the top. So here we go. It does. <gasps> New sticker! New postcard with a, a black thing. Ooh, it's black Packaging. this time. Yeah. So we have a new Mexicrate sticker. It says... Dolces, and it has piñatas on it with Mexicrate's website. Check that out. And we got a new postcard. This one is just Mexico. Um, Bienvenidos to this alluring land of enchantment. And it has the same thing on the back saying that if you uh, tweet at them, you could have a chance to win a $25 gift card. So, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, if you guys are interested in Mexicrate, mexicrate.com, this, this website here, and if you sign up, if you put your email for the subscription, like so they'll send you emails and stuff, you'll get 15% off your first order. Which is not wrong, 15% off. So here we go, we're gonna open up the darkness. Whoa, whoa, it is packed. Look at that. I think I see one I've already had before though, so this is gonna be interesting, but this is actually packed with stuff. Like that is insane. All right, so I'm gonna set it up here now and just, we're just, I'm going to do this one a little bit quicker because the last one was 30 minutes long and I think it was a little long because of because Brylander was like, I just watched Crash watch 30 minutes of eating Mexican food. What's wrong with me? And I'm like, you watch anything I watch because I make better content than you. All right, so the first one, we have like four of these. These ones called Mr. Wafers. <laughs> so I'll hold one up while I read the front here. It is... Um, oh, I was trying to read the Spanish class. Bite-sized vanilla-filled wafers covered with chocolate flavor. All right, so it seems just like a basic little wafer, and that's fine. I like wafers. I like vanilla and chocolate. Look at that. Very simple. Oh, that's good. Yo, that's good. Mmm, yo, that's good. You can try them and try to choke. I'm um, just probably not go. going to. Um, just enjoy it through you. The chocolate's really good. The vanilla tastes like a vanilla ice cream type flavor vanilla. I love it. I'm probably going to eat all of these as soon as I'm done. Because I hate myself. But no. This one's excellent. And then the yay, nay, nay factor. Double yay. That's right. We're kicking off with a double yay, boys and girls. I'm looking at all stuff. All yay every day. Oh my god, there's, there's a spoon in this one. A spoon? Yeah, there's a spoon down here. Concerning. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that random spoon one for last because it seems very interesting. Next one we have is the Pulperindo. I had this one on the last one, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to see if it's a different flavor. Nope, it's still the same. The hot and salt and tamarind pulp candy. We've had these before. I gave them a yay, if I'm not mistaken. So we don't need to try these again. But that was pretty cool. We got the same candies as last time, so I mean that's nothing wrong with that. And the next one, if you look at that. It looks like a little rocket. It is a Olote Revolcado Lollipop. Chili covered. So 
So, you know, that's, that's a good start. And someone mentioned that, Crash, you should drink milk. It'll reduce the spiciness. You're right, but I don't have milk, so I have Gatorade sponsor. We have sponsor me too. We do? Yeah, my milk. We have milk, as I just discovered, but I'm 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 not getting up anymore. So Fair. thank you. So the stick is filled with chili powder too. Oh my god. <laughs> I just noticed that. I was like, oh I just thought it was red. No, that's chili. Don't don't Yep, that's chili. Don't oh, that's chili. Oh, that's chili. Don't touch your eyes. Oh, that's spicy. So the last one we start off with, oh my god, it's a corn cob. Look really, oh god, <laughs> look really close. It's a corn cob. Check that out. That's a corn cob. It's spicy corn. <laughs> All right, here we go. See you on the other side. Yep, spicy. Oh, oh, that's hot. I feel right in the back of my throat already. I taste nothing but chili. Like, literally, that's just spice. What else is it supposed to be? <clears throat> I don't know. It doesn't say. Sugar, corn syrup, strawberry pulp. It's supposed to be strawberry. Oh. <laughs> well, there, uh, Mexico, you messed up that time. Let's see. No, I can't bite that. For spiciness, yes. That's very spicy. There's no flavor though, it's just chili, so I'm gonna have to go with A eh on that one. Or no, yay, nay, and may. May, yeah. We'll go with may for that one because the spiciness was excellent, but there was no flavor, so it's an in-between, so may. Oh my god, hold on, I'm gonna do this one next. No way, I got some more salsa getty. <laughs> the most disappointing one, but this is a different flavor, this is mango flavored. If you guys don't remember what the salsa getty was, it was watermelon flavored strings and there was like a hot sauce you could put on top of it. And the hot sauce ruined it. Like it actually made it not 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 good at all. So we're gonna try this one again. We're gonna try one without the sauce and then one with the sauce. And they did it again. It's on the bottom of the uh, package again. It's all stuck to it. So what flavor is Here this we go. One? Mango. Mango. So it's like spicy mango. I just dropped all of it on my bed. Here we go. And it comes with a little hot sauce packet, as you can see. Oh, sorry, this way. It's a uh, flavored hot liquid candy. All right. So that is the salsa getty mango. We're gonna take one. We'll give us a try. Very mangoey. Very mangoey. I like it. This one you probably eat. It's really soft. Okay. You gonna try it? Yeah, I'm gonna try All right. it. It's really good. The mango's really good. Okay, now we're gonna... Well, you taste a little bit of spice, but your mouth is probably still like... Yeah, my mouth is pretty much immune to spice now. So I'm going to open this. I'm gonna try it with the um, salsa, with the salsa or whatever it is, hot sauce, flavored candy. It's not even hot. I'm just gonna take one and kind of just rub it on, on it because I don't want to ruin these because I'm actually gonna eat all these. Cause that's what happened with the watermelon one. The watermelon ones were really good, but I ruined it with this hot sauce stuff. So I'm just gonna do that. I got all over my fingers. It adds nothing to it. This part's useless. This part's great. I'm giving it a yay just for that alone. I'm gonna throw those out now and never look at it again. The mango sauce, uh, salsa getty was really good. I really enjoyed that. That salsa hot sauce stuff that comes with it, it shouldn't. I feel like it's useless. So, I mean, if y'all want to send me another one next time, you can send me another flavor, just leave out the salsa packet. How about that? Um, let's do another chocolate now, I think. We have this one, it's called Multibond. That sounds familiar. Um, with hazelnut flavored cream. It is a wafer filled with hazelnut flavored cream with chocolate flavored coating and peanuts. So, uh, you stay over there. I mean, you're not allergic to peanuts. Hazelnuts? Uh, hazelnuts, maybe. Okay, you stay over there. Okay. Um, because Midge is allergic to certain kinds of nuts. So we got this. I also got 10% free, so I got a bigger bar. What a deal. This was worth the, the $20 I spent to get this here. But I'm excited for this one. Another bit of chocolate. Chocolate's not hard to screw up, let's be honest here. Have you guys noticed when stuff is like made with real milk chocolate or now made with real milk chocolate? What did they make before it? How did they make chocolate and it wasn't milk chocolate? It's just fake flavoring. It's like on your uh, wafer dudes. 
it's chocolate flavoring it says it's not real chocolate. yeah but chocolate flavor like but what do they use to make the flavor i almost fell on my chair then i don't know this this looks like a turd but well, here we go there's a hole <laughs> like in my heart it's pretty good it's pretty good it's pretty good i like it's kind of i like that gave me 10 percent more because i was just gonna say it's kind of small I'm going to do... Oh, here we go. There was a hazelnut in my first bite. I feel like this kind of bar would be great as, like, an impulse buy at the cash. Like, when you go up to, like, a corner store and you see those, like, oh, what are those? You can pick up two for, like, a dollar. I like those. They're very good. Shout out to... Multiboy. Bon. <laughs> Multiboy. <laughs> uh, next, we got another lollipop here. Got a very cute uh, straw. It is indie. I can't really read it. It's like all excuse me. I got two in here. But uh, let's see. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna open it up and see if I can keep the package and see if I can read what it says, or maybe Midge can read it for me. Spanish isn't good at all. Supposedly I taught people how to speak Spanish in the last episode. I know I didn't. Don't lie to me, P Diddy. I killed you that one time. Oh, it's just another chili lollipop. Oh First of all, <laughs> spicy and sour candy lollipop watermelon flavor. Oh my god, it's like those little things I had at the beginning of the first one. The one that killed me for a whole episode. Love you, bro. Mm. Why? I like how this is like a common thing in Mexico. Like kids go to the store and buy these purposely. So. That's weird. I feel like nothing says Mexico more than, hey, you want to know what we should do to our candy? Make it hot. Strawberry, you, you like you like um, double bubble? Let's put some spice on it. Have you tried it with chili powder? Mm, oh. Ew! It tastes so bad! <coughs> oh! Do you want me to get the throw-up bucket? No, I don't need one. Oh, it tastes so bad. Is it... Does it taste like watermelon? It tastes like Satan did something to me and I didn't appreciate it. That's the best way to describe it. My eyes are watering. I can already feel them watering. It's not as sour as the ones from the other one. I'm thinking maybe I built a resistance thanks to this thing, but this tastes really bad. Like it's not like flavor at all. It's just like, it's mostly the sour. This is not very good. I don't know why I bit it again. I'm, I'm sorry, this one's getting an A. <clears throat> Lucas Mango. Sweet and sour mango flavored powder. I think I got a baby bottle pop. Good old Lucas. Oh! Snap off tip. Oh my god! <laughs> it's actually like a little snap off thing. That's cool, and there's like a little powder. Okay. It's a two. Check out this powder. Ooh. Sour? Oh, sour. We're getting about the sour. Oh my god. Ooh, that like my face. You know, like when they make the face on things like that was literally me then. Oh, that's sour. And it's not. It's oh, it's tasty too though. It's got a little bit of sweet kick to it, but it's more sour. And I took a big, big whop of it then. Hey, this is really good. I almost choked a little bit though. <laughs> when I had, I was like, <laughs> "This is probably my favorite so far because it's not spicy. It's not super sweet, but it gave me that like it said sweet and sour, and it was like, oh my god, and that little snap off tip thing. I like that. That was cool. Um, this one's definitely getting a yay for me. Very tasty. I really like that one. So that one's that one's gonna go in the yay pod. I should just I should just throw this one out. I'm never gonna eat this. We have three left. I'm going to leave the spoon thing and this one for last. So I'm going to go with this one now. It's another lollipop. Mango soured. It's filled with limonazo? Limonazo? Excuse me. It's a hard candy lollipop filled with lemon flavor and salt powder. You know, that sounds like a nice margarita. It looks like a flame. 
Or a leaf? A it looks like a leaf. A float, a float, like an arm floaty? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of arms do you have? Um, it looks, it looks interesting. I'm interested about the salt powder, so. It's a candy margarita. You know, cough lodges. Like the lemon ones you get at the store. Just like that. Not sour? Not sour at all. Pretty tasty though. It's like a cough drop with a little bit more. Um, I don't taste any salt on it. I think the salt's inside the little pocket there. Oh my god, it is too. Yo, I'm not gonna be able to get that right now. Oh, I will. Oh, and that salt is lime powder. Oh, that's bitter. Yo. Oh, you can see that's not gonna focus my bet. <clears throat> <laughs> that was lime powder. This is like, um. I could smell the lime from here. Mm-hmm. It was very strong. It's pretty good. Like it's more of a sweetened version of the uh, of a cough drop. Um, yeah, it's like a sweetened version of a cough drop and that lime surprise in the middle, <laughs> which I thought was salt. I was not ready for it. Is um. It's not too bitter. I like it. I'll give that one a yay. It was pretty good. We're down to the last two already. And now we're about to get cranky. Ooh. <laughs> Cornflakes with artificially flavored chocolate coating. If this ain't the coolest thing I'm probably going to have in this entire episode. The fact it's called cranky is really cool. I should keep some of these just in case you ever get cranky and you can have some. Oh, they're little like chocolate pellets. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. I like that. It's literally, yeah, just think like Special K or Corn Flakes with um, messy chocolate on it. Really good. These are pretty good. I really like these. They're very simple. It's just a crunchy chocolate, really. Think, um, I would say Maltese, but Maltese are way lighter. Um... Chocolate Rice Krispies. That's what I'll go with. This one gets a yay for me. No brainer. So the last one we get. I like this because there's no context. Yeah. There's no information. I don't know what it is. It's four spoons wrapped up with a little thing with uh, some rubber bands on with a rubber band on it. One would might consider this questionable. Yeah. I think next is trying to kill me. And if they do, sponsor. Um, so that's what it looks like. I'm assuming it's spicy. It looks spicy. It's soft. That seems interesting. Soft right off the bat. We'll rip this off here now. Smells kind of like sweet and sour sauce. So this is literally a plastic spoon with this thing on it. I don't see anything else with it. There's still a little bit of plastic on it, so... I almost, almost died then. It smells like sweet and sour sauce. It kind of looks like sweet and sour sauce. And maybe that's what it is. So here we go. It's actually really good. Is that fruit? Yeah. I think it might be tamarind. It's not spicy. I can feel a little bit of spice. Oh, after I swallow. I feel a spice. Never mind. Um, I'm thinking it's this, the pulparindo on this spoon. And I think this is a kind of convenient way to have it. Because this is extremely like it. Like, I'll open it up and show you, actually. That's what it is. Look, it's exactly the same. That's what it is. This one's just darker. That's that's it. So it's pulparindo on a, on a spoon. <laughs> this is really good. Very tasty. Um... I can see kids doing that for like a while. And you're like, mmm, it's so good. But you can easily rip it off with your, t your teeth too. Like, see? And it cleans right off. Very simple. I like the idea of just, it's just a spoon with some tamarind on it. Definitely a yay for me. Really enjoyed this one. Very simple, very good. I really like it. But we come down to it. We've got all of them out. I don't know how many we got. I think we got over 15 because we got like 
four wafers, four spoons, two of each sucker. Now, my favorite. I think it might be obvious what my favorite one is. A lot of you guys are saying, yes, Mr. Wafer, isn't it? No way! It's the Lucas Powder! This stuff was excellent. It was exactly what it said on the package. You got the fun thing of breaking it to use it, and then when you ate it, you died! Ugh. Anyways, that's gonna do for this Mexicrate unboxing. This was a very good one. I'm, again, amazed. Thank you, Mexicrate. It was very good. I enjoyed all of it, except for that random lollipop that killed me. I'll let you know next episode if it kills uh, Midge's girlfriend, so that will be really fun. Um, thank you, Midge, for stopping by, even though you live in this house. <laughs> it was a long um, walk, but it was worth it. Yeah, literally like five feet, maybe. Um, so hopefully she'll be okay for the next one, because I'm going to be getting one next month. So yeah, Mexicrate, if you're watching, I mean, I'm really enjoying this, and I'm definitely going to be doing episode three, so... Slide to my DMs, please. I miss you. Anyways, um, this is a great Mexicrate. Check out Mexicrate.com. If you sign up for their newsletter, you'll get 15% off your first order, which is pretty good. It's a couple dollars. A couple dollars better than no dollars. But if you guys enjoyed, let me know by leaving a like in the comment below. But as always, I just dabbed on camera, so y'all better save that one. Jap's definitely going to use that in this outro. I bid you farewell.